Hi there, my name is Jonas Benmarth and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a way to correct your skin color in your images using the numbers. A very common method to do this is to use the color sampler tool. Sample of the eyedropper tool should be set to 3 by 3 average. And now I'm just going to create a sample point in an area of diffuse glow that is probably not affected by any makeup or anything like that for example her chin <coughs> now I'm going to click on this little eyedropper here to change the readout from RGB values to CMYK color and now we can see that our numbers are 19 in the science, 28 in the magentas, 57 in the yellows, and 6 in the case. For correct skin color, what we want is something like um, cyan in the range of a third to a fifth of magenta and yellow, and yellow should be a little above magenta. So what we are going to do now is create a new adjustment layer curves and as you can see now I'm working in RGB here so I have no cyan no magenta and no yellow but of course we know our RGB and decreasing red for example would increase the cyans decreasing the greens would increase the magentas and decreasing the blues would increase the yellows and vice versa so what we're going to do is click on the reds, go back to our eyedropper tool and control or command shift click on our sampler point to create a point everywhere here in our curves dialog box. So as I said, cyan should be a third to a fifth of the range of magenta and yellow. So actually my cyans are a little too high. What I'm going to do is increase the red and thereby decrease the magenta. For example, I have 15 cyan. 15 times 3 is 45. 15 times 5 is 90. So that would be right in the ballpark. Magenta should also be in the range, so magenta is too little. We're going to use the green channel for that, and I'm going to decrease the greens to get a little more magenta. Okay, now as you can see, we have 12% cyan, 12 times 3 is 36, 12 times 5 is 60. So we are right in the ballpark and yellow is a little above magenta. Of course the numbers are just a starting point. For example in this image I would further decrease the blues a little because I think that her skin t color was a little too reddish. But that's of course personal choice. Now to get just the color out of this layer I'm further going to change the blending mode for this layer to color mode. And now when I deactivate this layer we can see this is the before and this is after. But of course you know me, I'm never happy. And I'm going to show you why. Because the CMYK readout is dependent on the profile that you set up in your color settings. And so if you set up any odd profile here, your readouts are going to be odd as well. I'm just going to demonstrate this to you. I'm going to my color settings now. And as my CMYK, I have a coated foreground 39 currently used. I'm going to load my own CMYK, which is something like a color spin. I can show you. Paint colors are set to custom. And I shifted the hue of every 
one of the colors here to about 100 degrees clockwise. And so as you can imagine, they are pretty. Incorrect now. <coughs> now I'm going to use my curves again. Readout shows me that there's absolutely no cyan in the skin. Okay. So I'm going to my reds. Control or command shift click again. And try to increase. No. Ah, yeah, no, now I'm getting a little cyan. Sorry, I was just a little confused, don't know why. And I'm going to get my cyan to about 11 points. That would mean we would have to get a magenta and yellow value of about 33 to 55. So magenta is just right, but yellow's not just not fine yet. So what we're going to do is decrease our yellows. Okay, I can see more magentas are shifting as well. I'm dealing with that in a moment. Okay. As you can see, my profiles are really messed up, so I don't even seem to get the correct colors here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. It looks... Yeah, okay. Okay, um... Anyways, as you can see, um... It's pretty much the opposite of what you really want. And if I activate my curves, which we found to be correct just a, min just a minute ago, we can see that the ratios are totally messed up. So my cyans are 1%. So that would mean we should have magentas and yellows in the range of 3 to 5%. Uh, magenta is way too high and yellow is way too low. So as I told you, if you have any art profile set up in your working spaces, that will totally mess up all the values. So what I find more useful is to use color samplers with the sampler set to lab color. And with this, we just have to deal with two values, the A and the B. Those are the actual colors. The A is negative on the side of green, positive on magenta. The B is negative on blue and positive on yellow. Correct skin colors would be pretty much equal. B is a little higher than A and they're most of the time they're about 15 to 20 points. So once again I'm going to command control shift click on this highlight here. And as I said A is green and magenta. I have two little magenta so I'm going to go to the green channel and increase my magenta a little. Okay, about 19 points, seems just right. And now I'm going to go to my blue channel because I want to affect the blue and the yellow. And for this I'm just going to give it a little more blue, probably about that. The benefit of using lab instead of of course, I could change the blending mode, the color as well. And the benefit of using lab instead of using CMYK is that um, there's just one lab profile that Photoshop uses, so there's no chance that you mess up your profiles and therefore mess up all your color corrections. So um, I hope you enjoyed it, maybe learned a thing or two. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, Jonas underscore Vendorf at web.de or just guide me Jonas W234. Goodbye, see you then.